All right, Shalom. Let me start off by giving all praise to Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shah, Bashim, Rakakadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. All right, all right I want to touch on the uh, the Bermuda uh, Bermuda Triangle. All right, um, I'm gonna play a quick clip before I but before I get that clip, let me get this scripture Psalms uh, 104. And verse 26, let me start at 25, says, So this, so is this great and wise sea, wherein are things creeping unnumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships, there is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. All right, hey, so the uh, the Leviathans, man. All right, you know the the beast that's out there in those deep seas, man. All right, those are the uh, it's Leviathan, you know, that's that's uh, taking them down, man. All right, that's his meat in their due season. All right, uh, let me so let me play this clip, and uh, and Lord willing, this video is edified. The Bermuda Triangle mystery has been solved. How many creepy stories about the disappearing of airplanes and ships in the Bermuda Triangle have you heard? We guess a whole bunch. It is a large area in the Atlantic Ocean between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. This region is notorious for its mysterious phenomena. Huge amounts of ships and planes have disappeared here. Its second name is the Devil's Triangle. All those mythical vanishings happened under unknown and unexplained circumstances. Some of the planes and ships have never been found. There have been many theories about why it all occurs in that area, starting from water spouts to aliens and even sea monsters. But those were only theories. Reports go back to 1945, when five American torpedo bombers and a plane that was sent out to find them all vanished without a trace. Since that day, another 75 aircraft and several hundred ships have been lost. The latest tragedy happened in 2015, when the cargo ship El Faro disappeared in this region. El Faro was a U.S. vessel traveling from Florida to Puerto Rico. It disappeared from the radars on the 1st of October 2015 and was found wrecked on the bottom of the ocean on the 31st of October. Another big incident happened on the 20th of June 2005 when the first Piper PA airplane disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle. There were three people on board. The second similar incident happened on the 10th of April 2007 when one more Piper PA airplane disappeared near Berry Island. There was only one pilot on board without any passengers. Neither plane has ever been found. There were small incidents as well. A luxury cabin cruiser, Witchcraft, that belonged to Burak, who owns a popular hotel as well, went along the shore of Miami together with his father to enjoy the beauty of Christmas lights in 1967. After some time, the shore guard got a call from Burak, who said that his vessel hit something and asked for towing. When the guard arrived at the place after 20 minutes, they couldn't find anyone. The boat, together with Burak and his father, disappeared and have never been found. Many stories are whirling around this area, but now, finally, the mystery behind the Bermuda Triangle may have been solved. At least that's what a Science Channel show claims. A team of American scientists from the University of Colorado analyzed satellite weather images of this notorious area and noticed a series of unusual hexagonal clouds on them. The meteorologists theorized that these clouds might act like real air bombs. It's believed they are the main cause of the deadly blasts of air, which can easily exceed 170 miles per hour. These hurricane-force winds literally blow up the air and can generate waves of more than 45 feet in length. No ship can survive such a storm, and no aircraft can withstand such a wind. Clouds don't typically form straight edges. However, judging by the satellite images, 
The Bermuda Triangle is an exception to this rule. The announcement of this theory has motivated a lot of further research. Scientists from all over the globe are trying to figure out what the reasons for such anomalies are. Do you know any other Bermuda Triangle stories? Do you have another theory for all those abnormalities? That's pretty much the point, you know, but, you know, Esau, he's lying, man. <laughs> you know, saying that it's, the mystery has been solved, man, that uh, it's either uh, abnormal weather or what they call aliens, which is really uh, the heavenly, uh, the angels of the heavenly father. All right. You know, but that's the that's that pride of Esau, man, you know thinking that he's going to uh, discover the depths of the sea, you know, all this uh, nonsense, man, all right? You know, when really, uh, you know, they, they try to say that the mystery has been solved, you know, to keep, you know, the, to keep the, uh, the panic of the masses, you know? You know, but none of that has been solved, man. You know, Esau, he hasn't, he hasn't discovered much of this, much of this earth, man. All right, but he won't admit it. All right. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 31, and verse 35 says, uh, Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea when the waves thereof roareth. The Lord of hosts, Yahweh, uh, Shimei Shai is his name. If these, if those ordinances depart before me, saith the Lord Yahweh, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. You know, so hey, so the children of Israel, we, we're still here today, all right, because we still see the uh, the sun and the day, all right, we still see the moon and the stars as a light in the night. You know, so that's how you know the nation of Israel is still here today. All right. Um, and verse 37, is, this is the point. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem El Shai, if heaven above can be measured and the foundation of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. All right, hey, that's the, that's the Lord of boasting, man. That he's that confident, all right, because he know that, you know, that these Edomites, man, they're not gonna be able to search out, you know, uh, this world, man. All right, you know. So when when they, uh, when Esau he has his aircraft going off into the Bermuda Triangle, all right, you know, they call it the Devil's Sea, which really is the Lord's Sea. You can't give that much credit to the devil, man. All right, it's the Lord's Sea, man. All right, it's your Howell by Hashem Yahushua Sea. All right, you know when he sends out his uh his aircrafts, all right, his ships, you know, you know that that's just for their destruction. All right, you know who knows what they're really trying to do out there, man? They're trying to, you know, probably trying to search other parts of the world. You know, they're trying to do all their Esau, you know, Esau tactics, man. You know, heathen, you know, heathen customs, man. You know, you know, but what did the scripture say? The scripture says, search out things that are too hard. Search, let me just get it. Search not out things that are too hard for thee. All right. Uh, Sirach chapter 3, verse 21 says, seek not out things that are too hard for thee. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. All right. Uh, you know, these things that Esau search out, you know, that's what gets him killed. All right, that's what gets these Edomites killed, man. Searching out things that are above thy strength. All right, you can't search out the depths of the sea. All right, you can't search out the depths of the heavens, man. All right, you just can't do it, man. All right, the Lord, you know, he has, uh, he has, he's reserved that for the elect. All right, let's get that out of the way. He's, he's reserved that for the elect. All right, once we get those spiritual bodies, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna understand the depths of the sea and all right, the depths of the heavens. All right, but until then. All right, Esau, he's not going to get it, man, because he's not even that uh, Esau, Edom, all right, the Hebrew Edomites, all right, they are not that chosen nation, all right? It's the nation of Israel, all right, which, which consists of these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, all right? The depths 
of the sea and of the heavens, all right, and all the uh, the things that are unsearchable, all right, that's for the nation of Israel to know, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, all right? You no, know, uh, I think it is a scripture that says unsearchable. I think, yeah, Psalm 145, verse 3, it says, Great is the Lord Yahweh, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. All right, you can't search out the things of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, you know, but the pride of Esau, you know, he's going to keep doing it, man. All right, you know, and that's really why he's departed from the Lord, man. All right, uh, Sirach chapter 10 verse 12 says the beginning of pride is when one departed from the most high and his heart his mind is turned away from his maker all right that's Esau from the beginning man from the get-go all right you know that pride man all right you know when eat when uh when the Lord acts uh uh Cain you know which is in the reincarnation is Esau you know uh um, he asked him, uh, where is thy brother? You know, roughly paraphrasing, he says, I'm not my brother's keeper, man. You know, that, that's that pride, man. You know, you know, the fact that, uh, that serpent, you know, which was really Esau, all right, which was the actual man, all right, is just described as a serpent. When he deceived Eve, you know, he says, surely you will not die. You know, that's the pride of Esau, man. You know, always going against uh, his maker. All right. You know, uh, let me read verse 13. It says, for pride is the beginning of sin. And he that hath it, and he that hath it, that have it, shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. All right. You know, and that's Esau, man, pouring out abominations man you know uh, abominable sacrifices you know going back to uh cain all right you know that's that that's the beginning of pride man i right, says for pride is the beginning of sin man all right you know you can't be prideful all right especially towards the lord man all right you know so i just really wanted to just touch on that bermuda triangle all right that's leviathan tearing up those ships you know tearing up the planes all right you know, Leviathan, uh, that's the that's really ultimately the Lord, you know, through uh it's the Lord's spirit, uh, he putting that spirit on Leviathan, man, to uh to destroy you. All right. You know, and Leviathan, he's gonna come back, all right, he's gonna make himself known, all right, in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, and he's gonna add more bodies, all right. You know, so Leviathan, you know, on, let me close out with Psalms again. Psalms All right, you know, that makes that scripture even more true when it says, uh, you know, give no thought what ye shall eat, you know, so the Lord, because the Lord, he feeds the birds, you know, and the beasts, you know, so he's going to feed you, you know, he, he even feeds Leviathan, man, all right, you know, uh, Psalms 104, verse 26, there go the ships, there is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein, all right, Leviathan, he plays with these ships, man, all right, when, he, when these people go across the Bermuda Triangle, all right, you know, hey, Leviathan starts to lick his, starts to, uh, lick his chops, man, all right, because he knows that, that that's his meat, all right, it says, these wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season, all right, hey, Leviathan, he gets fed, all right, hey, through, through, through the pride of uh, Edom, all right, you know, as far as, probably a mixture of, of some coon jakes, you know, going along with it. All right, you know, hey, but that's the pride of Esau, man. All right, always willing to search out things, you know, that are, that is above thy strength, and it gets him killed, man. All right, you know, I just want to close out with that. What we're in this video is edifying. I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh, by Shem Yahshai, by Shem Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David. All right, to the next lesson, I say Shalom.